Here we go. So right now I have log base 9 of 3a plus 14 minus log base 9 of 5 equals log base 9 of 2u. Uh, there's an issue here. Let's make this an a because we should have two different variables. So not sure where I, uh, where I went wrong and checked in, but I know the variables are going to be exactly the same for the problem. So, um, so let's go through it on this point. So what we have is we have a logarithms on both sides. And usually when we see logarithms on both sides, we say, hey, let's go and apply on the equality of logarithms, meaning where the actual base of the logarithms is not going to matter because as long as they have the same base and they're equal on both sides, then we know what we're evaluating each logarithm for has to be equal as well. But we have a problem here because we don't have a single logarithm equal to another single logarithm. We have two logarithms equal to one single logarithm. So what we want to do is see how can we condense this down to one logarithm. And to do that, we're going to want to use the quotient property of logarithms. So the quotient property of logarithms states, if I have two logarithms and I'm subtracting them, if I have the difference of two logarithms, as long as they have the same base, I can now rewrite them as the quotient of, the two, of what we're evaluating the two logarithms for. So I can rewrite this as the quotient of 3a plus 14 divided by 5. And notice the base remains the same. Now that's equal to log base 9 of 2a. And what's important about this now is you see that now I have a logarithm base 9 equal to another logarithm base 9, meaning that what we're evaluating them for has to be exactly the same. So our logarithms are really not, no longer going to be relevant, and now we're just going to simply have an equation 3a over 14 divided by 5 equals now 2a. So to problem, solve a problem like this, I need to make sure I get my 5 off the bottom, so I'll multiply by 5 on both sides. That divides out to 1, so I'm left with 3a plus 14 equals 10a. Now I get my variables on the same side by subtracting 3a, and therefore I get 14 equals 7a divided by 7 using the division property of equality, and my final answer is going to be a equals Two. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve an equation by using the quotient property of logarithms and the equality property of logarithms. Thanks.